What does the recent snow have to do with this year's flooding rains? Well, I'm glad you asked. The first snow of the year can bring joy, whether you're a dog or a person. Australia needs very special weather patterns to get decent snow, but this year we got it in spades. One of the big drivers of the snow was a weather feature called a blocking high. Now keep your eye on the H just underneath Australia. Notice how it hardly moves day after day. That's a blocking high. It's like a traffic jam where weather systems just can't move on. Blocking highs can act like weather amplifiers, allowing snow or rain or even heat to build up and up and up, with at times disastrous consequences. In February this year, a blocking high pressure system settled between Australia and New Zealand. That's it, just here. Not long after, an atmospheric river formed off the Queensland coast, funnelling tropical moisture from New Caledonia right over the Queensland-New South Wales border region. The blocking high prevented the weather from moving out to sea, as it otherwise might have done. And as we saw, that led to multi-day rainfall that just didn't stop, and of course, devastating floods. Blocked weather systems aren't always disastrous. Cold, wet weather in the east has led to one of the best starts to the ski season in decades. And southwest Western Australia could do with some rain. But blocked weather doesn't only bring rain. In January 2019, a blocking high set in off Australia's east coast. Instead of rain, the high pressure system brought a record-breaking heat wave. Winds came off the interior of the continent that were hot and dry, sitting there for days at a time. The blocking high on top of global warming led to heat records around the country being smashed. The mercury is expected to soar to 47 in Ivanhoe, Menindee and Wilcannia, and 46 in Burke. And blocked weather doesn't just impact Australia. Last year, a high pressure system stalled over Canada in a distinctive U-shaped pattern called an Omega block. Again, heat built up and up, day after day. On the 29th of June, the temperature in Lytton, British Columbia, hit 49.6 degrees Celsius, the highest temperature ever recorded in Canada. Shortly after, the town was destroyed by fire. In the wake of the disaster, some climatologists argued that climate change was making blocking events like the Canada heat wave more frequent. The idea is that a warming Arctic was making the Northern Hemisphere jet stream wavier and more meandering, leading to more blocking events. Other scientists argued that climate models struggle to represent blocking systems well, so we really don't know yet how they might behave in the future. In fact, some models are even suggesting a decrease in blocking. Because of these recent extreme events that we've seen, especially the flooding in February and March of this year, blocking is a very hot area of climate research right now. Thank you.